Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the Arabic of the Quran series. Today we'll be doing lesson number 11, gender practice. Let's begin. So in the last video we learned about gender, the third property of an ism. Today we'll just review it real quick, okay? So let's begin. The first thing we learned is there are two types of words, masculine and feminine. In terms of gender, there are two types of words, masculine and feminine. We assume that every word we see is masculine unless it shows signs of femininity. Feminine is divided into two types. Real feminine, which is the biological common sense feminine, like mother or aunt, and fake feminine, the thing that really doesn't have any gender, mostly objects or animals. The fake feminine clues are, first of all, tamarbuta, which is the most common, alif maksura, which happens in only special words, and alif mamduda, which is also only some special words. Next, broken plurals. This Definitely, this is in the case of non-human broken plurals. And even in the case of human broken plurals, it can happen. It is, there's a chance, not a chance, there is a possibility. And it, um, it is allowed to make it feminine. Next, we come to feminine because the Arab said so. Over here, we learned as we, over here, we divide it again into two parts. First one is body parts in pairs, like eyes or or um, hands, eyes, hands, feet. All these are body parts in pairs. These will be feminine. Or the random word from the story. We learn this, the Arabic words of the story. I hope you learned the story by now. So. So with that, we have we have completed the review. Now we'll be applying all this knowledge in the next slide. All right, so now we'll be doing the practice. But before we start, I want to tell you one thing. This part of the video, I mean the part where I do the exercise or practice or I want you to apply your knowledge, you should actually listen to it on silent or on mute. That way you'll be able to listen to your own reasoning and then you can see whether your reasoning is the same as mine and whether you reach the same conclusion. Okay, so now let's begin. The first word we see is Samakataini. Samakataini, it looks, first of all, it's a combination and it's dual. We sh you should already know this. And it has a ta before it, right? Like this ta. This ta looks almost like Muslimataini. See? Samakataini Muslimataini. They rhyme. The tiny part is rhyming. So Muslimataini is feminine, right? Therefore, we can see that Samakataini is also feminine. Alright, next one. Al-Insanu. Al-Insana. Sorry. Al-Insana. Okay. The first thing is there is no combination. So this must be either a singular or a broken plural. If you look here, it's singular. And since, it had, since only broken plurals are feminine and this shows no signs of femininity, this is masculine. Yes, this is masculine because it shows no sign of femininity. It's not one of the words that Arab said so. I mean, it's clearly a human, so it cannot be one of the words that Arab said so. And it cannot be a fake feminine. So it's not even a real feminine or a fake feminine. So that's why we can tell that this is masculine. Next, we come to Sunan. Sunan, first of all, it's an ending sound, so this can be either broken plural or it can be singular. When we come here, we see it means legacies. The C's part tells you that this is this word is a broken plural. And since it's a non-human broken plural, this word is definitely female, feminine singular. That's what non-human broken plurals are, right? Feminine singular. Next, Mumari Watin. Straight off, you can see the female, the feminine uh, plural, the feminine plural, the atin, and this means nurses. So it's a human feminine plural, which means it is obviously female. Next, asamawat, asamawatu. Okay, the first thing is it has a combination again, and it's atu. Now, when we look here, it means skies. So it's a non-human feminine, I mean non-human feminine plural. And that is, we know, is again female. Now let's move on to the next slide. Al Malaika. Now this is where reason becomes very important. Al Malaika ta has a ta at the end, ta marbuta. So you could say that it's feminine because of the ta marbuta. But when you look at the meanings, you see that this means angels, angels, which means that this is a broken plural. So which means that this is a human broken plural because angels are human. Technically, in Arabic grammar, angels are human. Okay, so al malaikata is feminine because of the ta marbuta, or is it feminine because of the broken plural? 
First of all, this is human broken pure, which means you have two options. Either you make it the reality or you make it feminine. So in this case, instead of writing female, which what Tamar Buta would have said, we are going to write both because this can be masculine, which is what it really is, masculine plural, or it can be a fem feminine singular. Okay, so this is why reasoning becomes important. Also, you have right, also you would have uh, made this a feminine word only. This is not just a feminine word. This is feminine and it can be also masculine. Okay, now let's move on to the next one. Al yatama, al yatama. First of all, no combination. It's just sound. So now we look at the meaning. Orphans. Orphans it means it is a broken plural, but it's a human broken plural because orphans are human, and so that can be both singular feminine and it can be masculine plural. So it's both. Then rehen. This is where the story is used. If you read the story, if you memorize the story, you know that re is actually a feminine. If you haven't learned the story, you will have no clue that re is feminine. So go back to the story if you haven't learned basically. Because it will come in the Quran, Riyah is used. Next, Aymanan. Aymanan, it obviously has a tanween, so this is definitely a sound. It can be singular or broken plural. Now let's look here. Oaths. Oaths means this is definitely a broken plural. And oaths are non human things, therefore, it is definitely singular feminine. Next, Mohsinuna. Forget the meaning, just look at this. This has una, which is masculine plural. Masculine plural. That, I think that only gave us the answer. Masculine plural. Sayyatin. This has a fem feminine plural. Now you have to just look at the meaning to see if it's human or non human. Evils. That's a non human feminine plural, which means it is singular feminine. Next, ar rijalu ar rijala is obviously it can either be a broken plural or it can be a singular. We look at the meaning, it means men. Men is plural, so there is a broken plural. And since it's a human broken plural, men are humans, right? This is a human broken plural, so it can have both. It can be masculine plural, which is what it really is, or it can be a feminine singular. It's crazy. Next is buyutan. Buyutan is houses. Houses, non human broken plural, which means it's definitely feminine. Next, Qanitina. Just look at this word. Qanitina. The ina already gives it away. This is a masculine broken, I mean, this is a masculine plural. Una ina, masculine plural. So, what is the word? Masculine. Next, Paulun. Paulun. Let's look at the meaning height. So it's a singular. It shows no signs of femininity. It is masculine. All right. By the meaning says it's white, but I don't need the meaning because I can see that there is Alif with a Mada and there is Hamza. If you know, if you learned from the last lesson, you know that this means it's Alif Mamduda. You know this is how Alif Mamduda looks. So this word is feminine and it's fake feminine obviously. And it's feminine because of this ending, how it ended. It ended with Alif Mamduda. Next, Nasan. Nas, you already know the meaning of Nas. It means people. It has no signs of, it's plural obviously, but it has no signs of femininity. So this one is going to be masculine. Okay. Next, Bakaratun. Bakaratun, there is Da Marbuta. That's all I need to know that this is feminine. The meaning is cow, as you can see. Next, Nisaun. Now, first of all, look. Nisaun. It's any combination, any thought. Look at the difference. This one has a Madda. This one doesn't. So you can't just look at the um, Alif Mamduda and tell that there is Alif Mamduda. This is not Alif Mamduda. This one has a madda this alif on top if you can see you can see there is mud and this one doesn't have the mud so this is not alif mamduda okay have this distinction clear next is it a ending sound yes it's an ending sound so it's singular or broken plural we look at the meaning is woman woman means it's a broken plural and it's a human broken plural 
so it can either be what it can be a reality or it can be singular feminine either ways you will see that this word is feminine because the reality is what is woman right the reality is woman so that's plural feminine because women are feminine so plural feminine and the singular i mean the normal broken plural version is bro, um, singular feminine so this can either be a plural feminine or it can be a singular feminine either way it's feminine so this word is not both even though it's a human broken plural because even the meaning is feminine next that in the story in the story you learned about dar and you know if you pay attention that the story tells you all the feminine words so therefore that is feminine ah yeah again tamarbuta tamarbuta means it's feminine tamarbuta is the most common next jahannam jahannam again it's in the story story means it's feminine next shuhada shuhada un again there's not a madda guys this is not alif mamduda because the alif over here doesn't have a madda so you can't classify this as feminine okay now we know that this has no um, ending combination so it's only ending sound so what we will do we will make it a singular or it's a broken plural depending on the meaning the meaning says witnesses witnesses which means there's a broken plural and it's a human broken plural because witnesses are human right witnesses are human so it's a human broken plural and that human broken plural can be two things it can either be a masculine uh, plural which is why it is or it can be a singular feminine because it's a broken plural okay now let's move on malakani okay this has a dual combination because it's ending combination which is dual ani that's dual and it means angels so we can say that this is masculine you know why because it's not plural the only way it would have been plural if it was in um if it was having either it should have the broken plural or it should have the una which is not here so this is masculine next qarnin meaning generation this is plural because the arab said so but it's not feminine because i left it so so it really doesn't have any uh any reason to be feminine so we can say that this is masculine and that's it we are done with today's practice today all we did was practice because last time we learned about the theory this was the application of the theory and i hope you got most of these or all of these right because the things you didn't get right go ahead and see them again see, go to, to go through your own mind and see why exactly why they are feminine or masculine or both whatever they are okay i have the correct reasoning and you should be able to solve any word that comes your way so that's it for today um if you have any doubts comment below i really want to know your doubts and i'll try my best to answer them good day and goodbye thank you